October 1, 2012. Real Estate Capital Scoreboard October, 2012. Chicago, Illinois, October 1, 2012. Other than improved CMBS market conditions, much of the focus within the realty capital markets leans toward treasury behavior. Monthly highlights are as follows. The gap between life companies and CMBS debt is narrowing as Wall Street returns with a vengeance. Conduit loan spreads have tightened by as much as much as half a point during the past two months. The net effect is substantially more competition for permanent loans, particularly for terms of seven years or longer. Banks comfortably dominate funding arena for terms of five years or less, including floating rate debt. Even the new construction home sales recently fell, prices posted the largest increases since before the Great Recession. Based upon job growth in select metro areas, the housing recovery is uneven, but a shortage persists for lower-priced units. Fixed-rate home mortgage again dropped to record low levels below 3.5%. Such persistently low rates seem to prove the Fed's monetary policy soundly impacts housing. Treasury rates dropped during the last half of September, proof that domestic consumer spending is slowing within a fragile economic recovery. Chinese and European economic sufferings add more such concerns. Expect rates to stay at low levels in the foreseeable future. Credit lines, letters of credit and other unsecured bank-related financial instruments are still challenging to obtain. Lenders seek strong collateral backing any type of transactions, erring on the side of caution as far as credit risk. The Real Estate Capital Institute's director, Jean Peck, opines with mortgage rates at such low levels, much of the attention is towards improving property financial performance. She adds, debt pricing for core properties is at commodity levels, meaning lenders compete on leverage and other underwriting factors beyond interest rates.